the compiler language with no pronounceable acronym, abbreviated in Turkle, is an esoteric programming language that was created as a parody by Don Woods and James M. Lyon, two Princeton University students, in 1972. It satirizes aspects of the various programming languages at the time, as well as the proliferation of proposed language constructs and notations in the 1960s. There are two currently maintained versions of Intercal, C Intercal, maintained by Eric S. Raymond, and CLC Intercal, maintained by Claudio Calvelli. History, according to the original manual by the authors. The full name of the compiler is Compiler Language with No Pronounceable Acronym, which is, for obvious reasons, abbreviated Intercal. The original Princeton implementation used punched cards and the IBCTIC character set. To allow Intercal to run on computers using ASCII, substitutions for two characters had to be made, dollar substituted for a cent as the mingle operator, represent, in the increasing cost of software in relation to hardware, and was substituted for ASH as the unary exclusive or operator to correctly express the average person's reaction on first encountering exclusive or. In recent versions of C in Turkle, the older operators are supported as alternatives. Intercal programs may now be encoded in ASCII, Latin 1, or UTF-8. Details, Intercal was intended to be completely different from all other computer languages. Common operations in other languages have cryptic and redundant syntax in Intercal. From the Intercal reference manual, it is a well-known and oft-demonstrated fact that a person whose work is incomprehensible is held in high esteem. For example, if one were to state that the simplest way to store a value of 65,536 in a 32-bit intercal variable is, any sensible programmer would say that that was absurd. Since this is indeed the simplest method, the programmer would be made to look foolish in front of his boss, who would of course happen to turn up, as bosses are wont to do. The effect would be no less devastating for the programmer having been correct. Intercal has many other features designed to make it even more aesthetically unpleasing to the programmer. It uses statements such as read out, ignore, forget, and modifiers such as please. This last keyword provides two reasons for the program's rejection by the compiler. If please does not appear often enough, the program is considered insufficiently polite, and the error message says this. If too often, the program could be rejected as excessively polite. Although this feature existed in the original Intercal compiler, it was undocumented. Despite the language's intentionally obtuse and wordy syntax, Intercal is nevertheless Turing complete. Given enough memory, Intercal can solve any problem that a universal Turing machine can solve. Most implementations of Intercal do this very slowly, however. A Siva Veritos Themes benchmark, computing all prime numbers less than 65,536, was tested on a SunSpark Station 1. In C, it took less than half a second. The same program in Intercal took over 17 hours. Documentation The Intercal reference manual contains many paradoxical, nonsensical, or otherwise humorous instructions. Caution under no circumstances confuse the mesh with the interleave operator, except under confusing circumstances. The manual also contains a tonsil, as explained in this footnote. 4. Since all other reference manuals have appendices, it was decided that the intercal manual should contain some other type of removable organ. The intercal manual gives unusual names to all non-alphanumeric ASCII characters, single and double quotes are sparks and rabbit ears respectively. The assignment operator, represented as an equal sign in many other programming languages, is in intercolor left arrow.